No, listen, you're not listening. You're not listening. You're not listening. I told you I have to go back to the yard because I have a meeting with our safety officer. Why Why do you got to talk to the safety guy? Oh, well, I, you know, uh, you, you had other things going on, so I didn't get a chance to tell you about my week. Okay, so you had to see your safety, safety officer, officer slash safety director before no, you go into that officer. or safety officer. But before you go into that little story, mm -hmm. I try to stay away from safety because every time when safety calls you is never a good thing. It, it for my in my opinion, because of my experience with past uh, conversations mm -hmm. with safety directors and stuff like that. I always have a tendency uh -huh. of thinking that when they call me, it's, it's, it's always about something. So what's what's going on with you? Uh -huh. So like I said, I had a rough week this week. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Now hold on. Started off with that 4 a.m. delivery, which I made on time. And uh, fifth wheel trouble. My fifth wheel decided they wanted to act up after I finally got my load unloaded. And so uh, I had to call. I had to call uh, road service out to help me figure out what was happening with the fifth wheel, which is no no fault of my own. Like, whatever the problem was, it wasn't like I did something wrong with that. But that was just how my week started. So we got the fifth wheel going. And because it, the fifth wheel was so much trouble, the way that I found out, the, let me go back to the beginning with the fifth wheel. So I got unloaded after uh, waiting two and a half hours to be unloaded for 4 a.m. appointment time, they didn't start at 6.30. Not that, that that has anything to do with it. So after, when you pull in, you have to disconnect from your trailer. They want you to take your air hoses off. They want you to put your landing gear down. They want your tandem, no, no problem. Easy, easy peasy. So after waiting two and a half hours in the in set position of preparation, they came and they unloaded. They probably took maybe 45 minutes. It wasn't a really long time, 42,000 pounds. I went to reconnect everything. So when I connected back to the Kingpin, did my tub test, great. Now I'm getting out of the truck because I want to make sure I check everything before I put this truck into gear so i get off and i look with my flashlight because it's dark still early morning and my fifth wheel handle is not all the way in as it should be so i'm like what's going on with this now this is before i even connect the air hoses because i'm like i gotta make sure the fifth wheel is is good before i do anything else because i don't want to now i'm releasing and reconnecting I had to do this time. Feeling like I'm about to put a hole in the dock because I'm hitting this, this thing so hard, trying to get this fifth wheel handle or locking mechanism to release all the way around my kingpin and securely lock my kingpin in. But no, it doesn't want to do that. So now I'm rocking the truck back and forth, the tractor rock back and forth, trying to see if that'll loosen up whatever the, the whatever is stuck in position so that it can completely close. That doesn't work. So, call my DM. Hey, this is what's going on. Hey, try this. Okay, no problem. Did that, still nothing. Calls back. Hey, that didn't work. So now I'm calling to my trainer. Hey, I talked to, to the DM, you know, told them this is the problem. This is what they told me to do. I had already done it, but I did it again. Now I, you know, trying, the other thing he told me to do, that ain't working either. What is your suggestion? So he's like, well, sounds like if all of that didn't help, you need to talk to the um, maintenance supervisor. Because he's the first one in. So give a call over there. Hey, how you doing? Guess what's going on? I'm having this problem with my fifth wheel. I've tried everything. Nothing's working. So he says, uh, do they have a yard jacket in? I'm like, well, he hasn't come in yet. Well, when he comes in, get him to move his trailer off, out the dock, position it somewhere else, and then give it another whirl. Cool. I go down to the security, talk to security, blah, blah, blah. This is what they ask. Can we, can we do this? 
sure, no problem. The yard jockey comes to work. He don't even know that I need him, but I see him, so I flag him down. I tell him what the problem is. Now, by this time, I can't even get the fifth wheel handle to so much as even release so that I can disconnect. Like now, I need him to be on the side so that I can push the tractor in reverse to take the pressure off of the fifth wheel handle so that he can release the lock, the kingpin lock. So we had to do that twice. Okay, boom. So I said, well, you know, my maintenance guy said, if we can move the trailer, maybe I can give it a try at a different position. Maybe that'll help. He says, well, I'm, I'm new to this, to this location. Let me go find out how they do things over here and we'll go from there. So I call us back to maintenance, let him know what, what happened. Um, so now he's like, it sounded like we might have to get road service out, but let me know. So I walk back down to the security. Hey, they want to know if we can like move my trailer out your dock. So I'm not taking up your dock, but you know, put it in one of your trailer spaces so that I can try to, you know, get this, this my tractor connected so I can, you know, get out you guys here. So she tells him where he can park me. So we go back around. He parks me. We try it again. Two, three, four more times. Still ain't working. So call back to maintenance. Hey, we're going to have to get road service because I'm not feeling secure. I said, it's closing a little bit more than it, than it was before, but it's still not completely locked. And I don't want to be trying to pull up out of here, hit a bump or something, and my trailer be on the ground. I've already had that experience, ain't trying to have it again. Cool, I'm calling road ser service. I'll let you know when they on their way. In the meantime, I call one of my training instructors from my CBL school, who was like the fifth wheel guru. So I said, let me call the fifth wheel guru. Let him know what's going on and see what his take on it is. So I explain everything. Blah, 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 blah. He's like, well, you, you've done everything that I would have said to do. So sounds like just got to wait for uh for your road service. So I said, cool, no problem. Road service comes, hits it with the crowbar. Bam, locks. Great. Let's try it with the, tra with the tractor now. Back it up. Gently, like I normally would do, they don't set. It closes only to, you know, we do that about two or three more times. Then now he's also having to have me push back so he can release the handle. So give it a few more tries. But the last two tries or three tries, it finally locks in place. Awesome. Awesome. Now I can get up out of here. So that was my first delivery. Makes my way on down the highway to my second uh, customer. I never finished setting up my trailer to get back on the road, i.e. I never reset my tandem. Tandems are still to the rear. So I'm driving all the way over to the next customer, wondering why I'm having a hard time making it around these corners and stuff, but not dawning on me that I never reset my, my tandem. So I get over to the customer, and I'm trying to turn around in the yard. I'm getting all caught up. The, the, the tractor ain't going, I mean, the trailer ain't going where I needed to go. I go up on this blacktop. I'm trying to, I'm like, that's enough room for me to turn around. I get up there, tractor, why I ain't making this turn? Why, why am I, why am I jackknifing? Like, what's going on? Still has it gone on me. I go into the little grassy area right there. And I'm like, well, maybe if I could just, you know, roll on the grass a little, just enough to straighten my tractor out, then I can, uh, back this trailer back up and I can get out and see what the problem is. Nope. Big kid in the wheels. I'm big divots. Grass is all jacked up. All you see is mud track. So then I finally remember, oh, this little button right here locks the differential. Maybe that'll help me get out of here. Because now at this point, I'm like, well, ain't no point in me trying to go backwards still because the truck don't want to go backwards. I'm just going to go ahead and roll across this grass because guess what? I can't do no worse than I already done. But I know I'm going to have the answer for this. So get out, get off the grass, go turn my, you know, go the opposite way that I came in, came back around a different way, which created enough room for me to kind of get straightened out better to where I could back up to the docks. I just backed up to any one of the docks just to, to you know, just to not be in the middle of the uh, thing. Just not to be in the middle of the area. And I go on the side and I'm asking a guy, you know, 
hey, I, 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 I messed up your grass. I'm so silly. You know, I apologize. I, ne- I would never do something like that on purpose. I got stuck trying to get turned around, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, the owner ain't too happy about it. I said, please just let them know. I'm sincerely apologetic. Um, I really feel bad about it. Um, I got stuck. You know, it's my first time in here. There's no sign saying which way the truck should come in. So I was just trying to, you know, figure it out. So give him the paperwork. But I said, hey, by the way, I'm, I'm back. Is that cool? He's like, yeah. I said, now, do you want the tandems to the rear? He said, yeah. Light bulb goes off. Tandems are already to the rear. Uh, in too deep like Omar. Make me want to track you down and hit the track hawk with the crowbar. I knew we wouldn't go far, like we ran out of ethanol. Now your nosy ass mama want to get involved. When I met you, you was on the couch with the plastic. She need an Emmy. Bitch so dramatic. Now your baggage got me on edge like jagged. Fucking up my homes. Look, Patrick. You swift to jump shift like a chief. Been crying on my line like Therese. But it ain't all you, it's me. Blame it on the things I went through.